What's going on everybody? Today, I'm bass fishing, you guessed it. Really hard to guess that. I am with a new subscriber, never met him before. He's actually right there. That's that's Mikey. Mikey sent me an email, told me he's got a fire pond in Iowa and I'm here to see how fire it actually is. I brought my mystery tackle box with me. Gonna use the baits out of that box. Pretty excited. I uh, it's it's the month of July, so there's there's a top water bait, some drop shot baits, some spinner baits, basically all the fun stuff to throw. So I'm gonna take those baits out today. We're gonna see if we can catch some fish. What are you gonna start with? I gotta throw a frog. Dude. Frog. You can't not throw a frog. I mean, look at this. This is like the sauciest frog and pond I've ever seen in my life. I'm gonna throw a mouse though. I'm gonna throw a mouse. That's gonna be exciting. If you guys want to see the full unboxing for the mystery tackle box, I will put that kind of towards the end of the video. I know a lot of you guys. Uh, like the unboxings, but some of you guys don't really like the unboxings. You guys would rather just see me go and catch fish and maybe give some tips along the way. So, for those of you guys that like the unboxing, it will start right here, that time, right there. That's when the unboxing will start. But for now, I'm going to tie the baits on and we are going to take, we're going to take a little John boat out. A little John, that's the best. I love John boat fishing. Let's catch some biggins. Okay, all right, that's better. A little bit of a workout here. We're good. We're gonna find them. I tied on, what I tie on? Spinnerbait, jig, and mouse. That's what came in my Mr. Tackle Box. There's some drop shot stuff, but a little too much vegetation for the old drop shot today. So we're gonna roll with the jig, flip the jig, throw the mouse obviously on top water, and then use a little bit of a moving bait for when the sun gets up and stuff like that. But right now, toss mouse. I've never thrown a mouse in my entire life, so this kind of might get uh, this might get a little interesting. Oh yeah, guys, I forgot. If you want to try Mystery Tackle Box out for yourself, promo code FLAIR gets you $10 off your very first box. If you guys don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is, they send you a box of baits to your house every single month. They have bass fishing, they have pan fish, they've got everything that you need. Even if you're not a bass fisherman, maybe you're a multi-species fisherman, they've got something for you. It's a good way to experiment, try new baits, just like today I'm throwing a mouse, something I've never thrown in my entire life. All right. Let's go back to fishing. Oh, there was fish right there. Here we go, right there. Look at that mouse. That is a saucy, saucy. Look at that. This is like bright as hell. These fish are gonna really hate this thing. It's gonna be great. They're gonna absolutely obliterate it. I'm excited. Again, never thrown a mouse before. That's why I like getting my mystery tackle box. They give me stuff that I, I've been fishing all my entire, I mean, my entire life for 15 years, pretty heavily. Now, obviously I didn't have a ton of money when I was five years old. I did, I did roll some bank every once in a while, but not a ton, but I've never bought a mouse and probably never would. And I'd probably never throw them out if it wasn't for Mystery Tackle Box. So that's why I like it. Send you some baits that, you know, you'd never, you'd never go buy at Bass Pro Shops and, and whatnot. And who knows, maybe we'll catch some fish today. No luck on the first spot. Tried the mouse and spinnerbait. I think I had a bite on the spinnerbait, but, and actually had a couple smaller fish. Bluegills ate the mouse, but nothing yet. We're gonna, head on down the lake. There you go. Oh, he's hooked up. Like he's hooked up. Uh-oh, we got the first first one on. Oh, he lost it. Oh, shoot. All right, well, that's good. That was, that was first fish. Just trying to grab the camera. It popped off, huh? These fish are being a little, a little tricky this morning. Didn't want to eat the mouse, didn't want to eat the frog. They went the spinner bait. We've only tried two spots though, but so far it's it's been a little, a little challenging. Oh, come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, the dude's swarming all around it. Oh, whoa, did you, oh no, he's still there. Oh, wow. No way. Never in my life. I ever caught a topwater, it's a mouse fish, but basically a frog fish. That small of a fish. I mean, I know flare fish is just kind of like a, this is, there's gotta be another name. This isn't even a flare fish, this is something. What do you guys call something like this? I don't think I've ever, take a look at this. There's the bait, there's the fish. I don't get it. How did I even hook that thing? It like swarmed it and it had a giant wake. I was like, oh yeah, that's a giant. Nope, squeaker. There's one. Get him out. Good God, that's a good one. That's a good one. Stay, stay, stay on fish. Yeah, that's a giant. That's a toad. Want to get him for you? It's a guy. No, I got it. A, you don't have a scale, do you? I do actually. 
Okay, that's a good fish. Dude, that's a big one. Come here, buddy. I can't even see him. He's got so much salad on him. Come here, son. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God, no way. No way. Bro, that's a freaking five. Oh, look at the mouse. I've never thrown a mouse in my, why haven't I ever thrown a mouse? What? Just popped out, dude. On, on the mouse. Bam. Smoked the mouse, folks. I don't know why I've never thrown a mouse, but caught a giant five pounder. I'm gonna get the release on this guy. See you later, Sally. We were just about to like, I don't even know what we were about to do. Very frustrating because we were fishing in like the juiciest looking areas of this lake with no dice. And that dude, cr I mean, that thing crushed, it was all the way swallowed, obliterated that freaking mouse. Unreal. Sun's coming up, unfortunately, because that means I may or may not catch another mouse fish. But that totally makes the trip worth it. I drove like an hour to get here fishing with Mikey. Shout out to Mikey. What's your Instagram? Uh, it's underscore M nine eyes, nine or ten eyes, and then K-E underscore. Three, but one for one, five, nine, two, five, three, five, eight, nine, seven, eight. I'll link it down below. Go follow Mikey, awesome dude. Put me on the straight sauce here on his fire pond. I'm gonna quit talking though, because we gotta catch some more fish. It's only like 7.30 right now. We still got a couple more hours. I'm headed to Chicago tonight, but for right now, let's catch some more bass. A few moments later. We're hooked back up. There you go, you've redeemed yourself. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. That was, that was quite the fight. You had him wrapped, wrapped well, all the way down that tree. And he actually, you won this battle. Won this one. You won this battle. That's awesome. What are you naming that one? Um, Miranda. Miranda. All right. See you later, Miranda. Thank goodness. It's been such a rough start to the morning. Normally, that's why I get up at 4 a.m. is because it's the best in the morning. But now that the sun came up, we actually started catching some more. He had, he's had like three of them that run him in the trees. And, uh, and then obviously I had the big one on the, on the, on the old mousey mouse. I think I'm gonna flip a jig though, because he's catching them flipping Texas rigs. So I'm gonna try that jig, see if I can catch some fish. Broke me off. Well, that's gonna be real easy to do the unboxing now. Now that I don't have the actual jig. Nice. Well, there goes that. Oh, oh my there he is, right there, right there. Oh my God. It's a big one too. Yep, giant, giant. Smoke the spinnerbait, bro. Oh my God, come on, come on. Yes, oh my God. Dude, obliterated that spinnerbait. I saw him hit it too. Like, all of a sudden I saw the flash and I like twitched it twice. Dude, he smoked it. That's probably four and a half. That's not like that's quite as big as that frogfish, but we are just about to leave, folks. Our truck's right up there. Last second clutch largemouth. God, dude, that was nuts. I'm gonna throw on the scale real quick. Four pounds, three ounces. Oh, four pounds, two ounces. Right on the freaking money. Got a four pounder on the spinnerbait and a five pounder on the old mouse. I would say that's a pretty damn good day, folks. Solid. We got we got Gail here. I'm gonna say goodbye to Gail. I'm gonna put him back in the water. Don't want him to die, of course. All right, Gail. See you later, buddy. Back into the swamp. So freaking clutch. Oh, that makes me feel so good. We've, we kind of struggled. I broke off the jig. So you guys gonna look forward to a jigless unboxing, but I had a big one smoke it, set the hook and uh, it kind of like had me over a branch and popped off and I think it frayed my line. I didn't retie, threw it back in there and had a fish hit it and it broke off. So kind of my fault. I think we might finish off in this little corner here. I'm gonna head home. Gonna do the unboxing though. For those of you guys that have stayed tuned until now, really do appreciate it. Throw that thumbs up button for catching a five and a four pounder today. Big things, big things folks. All right, we're gonna see if we can catch a couple more fish and then get to the unboxing. 20 minutes later. Howdy folks, we are off the water. I'm gonna do a quick little MTB Pro. Somewhat of an unboxing. Like I said earlier, I lost the jig. I'll play like a little little thing when I go over that. But anyways, I'm just gonna quickly, quickly go over just cause I know I don't wanna take too much of you guys' time. What was in this box? Uh, as you guys know, I caught one on the rat. That is that, that rat right there. It's the Skirted Rat and Rats by Kahara. Right there, that's, 
That's the old mousy mouse that I was throwing. Very surprising. Did not expect to catch anything on that. I don't, like, to be completely honest, I didn't think I was going to catch anything on it. Just, I've never thrown a mouse. Like, why would they hit it? with they do that five pounder hit that harder than any frog fish that I've ever had. So I thought that was pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, it was a good bait. Good bait that came out of the box. The next one is a duo. This is a duo realis uh, cam bio cam bio spin spinner bait this is the spinner bait that i just caught the last four pounder on you guys can see it right there it's it's got like a very very flexible arm i don't know if that's the right words but it's got a very flexible arm something different it's not like your traditional wire uh and what that does is that'll collapse very easy and you can actually get pretty good hookups that way it's got different blades on it too i don't even know what i'd call those blades they're not willow or colorado it's like a hybrid indiana blade i think maybe they call it but good color on that one that four pounder did smoke it that's uh Right there, that's Mikey, he's taking off. But I gotta finish up the old unboxing. So I was showing you whatever thing else was in here. Um, so for the third bait, we've got the Zorro Booza Brush Bug. You guys can see it right there. That's the jig that I lost. I actually had a big fish. I think it was a big fish. I, I kind of saw the wake. Uh, hit the jig, and then he wrapped me in a tree and came off, and I think what happened was he nicked or frayed my, my floral. And then I cast back in there a few more times and hooked another fish, and it broke instantly. So that was my fault for not retying. That was the Zorro jig. Very, I mean, I had I had two, three, four big bites on that. Just couldn't capitalize on it. I mean, we were just kind of in a funk. They were eating, he was throwing a Sanko, and it was, they were eating it real funny, too. He had a really tough time landing the Sanko fish. Next, we've got some uh, KVD Perfect Plastic. These are some drop shot baits. These are the Dream Shots, I believe. These actually worked very well for me when I was in South Dakota smallmouth fishing. Unfortunately, this water's fairly dirty, lots of weeds, and we're fishing for largemouth, so drop shots, not super prime. That doesn't mean you can't catch largemouth on drop shots, but you, you generally need clear water for, for drop shot fishing. There's just another tip for you. Next, we've got the Shimmer Shad. This is, again, and again another drop shot bait, something that's very good for like clear water um, up north, all you guys up north, and it's a great summertime bait as well. Don't get the impression that if the water's dirty, you can't throw a drop shot. It's just personal preference. I would not I would not go with a drop shot if I had the choice. Next, we got some, of course, drop shot weights. They sent uh, two two uh, cylinder ones and two ball ones. So you can, you're basically ready to go. You've got the bait and the uh, and the weight to, to fish your little drop shot. And we've got a little Snapchat shout out thingamawobbers here. We got a little dope sticker here. Oh, there, I forgot that. We got some uh, trapper tackle. We got some drop shot hooks. So you really are ready. You got hooks, you have weights, and you've got two sets of baits. This was like definitely a good drop shot box. I wish I would have grabbed this and taken it to South Dakota. I just went to South Dakota too soon. Uh, you see, we got the Dibbles Digest. This is always good. It's got nice tips on uh, how to catch a fish and a uh, little little sticker mabobber here. And then what's inside the box, everything with all the prices. So I'll just kind of hold this here. You can pause the video if you guys want to know the prices of everything. But that's basically it. I don't want to take any more of your guys' time. Really appreciate you guys tuning in today. Had a great time fishing with the new subscriber, made a new friend. If you guys want to fish with me, you can email me. I'll leave it down in the description. All I would ask is that you put the location of the spot, like the pond or the lake, in the subject line, and then also include some pictures. I want to see, you know, how big a bass you catch and how big a walleye you catch. And how big? You... I guys want to see. Not that I'm not going to go with somebody that doesn't catch giants, but just I just kind of have a better idea. That helps me decide on where where my next adventure is going to be. Do I want to go after big bass? Do I want to go after just numbers of bass? Do I want to go after some pike? Do I want to go after walleye, perch, whatever? So. All you got to do, email me, links down below, or the, the website thing's down below. The email address is down below, that's what it's called. And include the location in the subject line and photos. It would be great. Thank you so much for watching, and peace! Oh.